Hello Virgo! We're gonna be doing your reading for April 2024. I love and I hate doing the Virgo readings because I'm a Virgo too. So I'm always like, ah shit, what's gonna happen? But it's gonna be good Virgo. We're gonna have a fabulous April because I don't know about you, but January, February, we're kind of, oof. Thank God, thank God. Uh, I know Saturn was opposing the sun for quite a while. So thank God that's over, right? So gonna be doing your tarot, gonna be doing your astrology and also your shadow work cards. If you stick around to the end, do you like shiny things? I know you do because you're a Virgo. So we are going to be having a whole bunch of jewelry that I'm putting up on the website that like, ah, I've been kind of teasing, but you're going to see it. It's going to be absolutely beautiful so far. So good with the cards. Yeah, things are, so things are working. Things are working. Things are, we're making decisions. Let's see. And stay tuned for the end because that jewelry is going to be really, really cool. Also, there is a sale this week. So whenever you're seeing this, this week is money sales. So money um, readings, money uh, work, any money products. Uh, and you want to get on the social media, right down below there's links, or you can just Google me, Mama Delia, and that will give you updates on all the sales. Virgo, shit is finally moving. If you have been feeling clogged, like this is... I'm reading this in March, but this is April. So we're talking about April here. If you had been feeling... If February was bad for you... Eh, uh, and then it's like March, you kind of started to be like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to start making things happen. I'm going to start like getting things going here. March is, was a turning point. April is much, much, much better. Virgos. This is the reading I needed too. Okay. Um, you start to make some decisions. You start to really like put your feet down and start to make decisions on what you need to do. Um, a lot of decisions, a lot of decisions. And it looks like there's work decisions too. You don't have to do everything at once. Not everything has to happen like all at the same time. Just please know that it's, it's, um, you can slow down in April. I think in March, I think February was such a rut March. You had to really start like pop, 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 making things happen. But in April, you can slow down a little bit. You can take things like a bite-sized piece at a time. Just little like, ch -ch -ch. okay. So then we have Thea, but things really get unstuck. There were a lot of things that were stuck for you. There were things that were like, you were just waiting on, waiting on, waiting on. That clears up quite a bit um, without you really having to do anything. It's almost like there was a log jam, Virgo. So, but these decisions you make, you make them very wisely. You make them very judiciously, judiciously okay? Now going into May, May, I see that we have the hermit. So somebody is looking for you in May and the Pope, the daddy comes back. So if you have either in May, what you seek is seeking you, or this can be that you're seeking a new path in life, but I'm going to tell you something. So we got April, May, and June. By June, things have been restored. It's almost like the kingdom is back together in June, which is a really beautiful thing that I know you've been hoping on, waiting on, because there was so much tumult earlier in the year, okay? But you're going to forget all that tumult. You're going to forget how bad shit was. It's going to be good, I promise you. Let's look at your astrodice. These are available in the store also. So funny, I just did Aries and they had the nine, ninth house also. In Virgo, is this a Jupiter? Is it? No. Wait, it's a Saturn. Oh, We've had a lot of Saturn energy. Saturn's going to kick your ass because, you know, that's what Saturn does. But it's going to kick my ass too because I'm a Virgo. So let's look at this. So Ninth House is all about inspiration. It's about philosophy. It's about journeys. It's 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 a very interesting house because it's like the path that you're on. You haven't reached the destination yet. You're, it's not over. It's not over. But what Virgo is telling you is to be meticulous, to analyze. This is This is like... It's so funny because you got this card, which is like, go, 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 go. And you get this card, which is like, hold on a second. So it's like your foot is on the brake and the the gas at the same time. So that's why you have to have this two of swords up here because you want balance. You want things to be very calm. You want things to be as chill as humanly possible so that you can make good decisions. And this Saturn is very much about restrictions, responsibility. I always call Saturn. So Jupiter and Saturn are two of the well, they're the biggest planets in our solar system, but they are, I call them like the two parents. And Saturn is the disciplinarian parent. As long as you like put your wash away and you keep everything organized, that parent is not going to get on your ass. But if you don't, they're going to beat the crap out of you. So you kind of just, yeah, that's Saturn, right? And then Jupiter is very much the like, oh yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you money to go to the mall. Just don't tell your, don't tell your other parent, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's Jupiter. Okay. And they're, they're very funny because to me, they're like, mom and dad or, or however you want to identify your parents. Um, so Saturn energy is very much like, I'm going to tell you through April, 
probably starting in March too, but definitely through April, you want to keep your energy very, 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 um, do the right thing every day. Like, like almost like that parent is watching you do the things you know you're supposed to do. And that's it. And you'll be fine. You'll be totally fine. Let's look at your shadow work cards. So let's see here. So yeah, whatever you seek is seeking you, Virgo, which is a really beautiful, I mean, shit, that's what we all wish for, right? So let's see here. Let's get this going. Now, don't go on the TikTok for shadow work. It's not actual shadow work. Look to Carl Jung if you want to learn about shadow work. It's real. Dark moon, pause and rest. You deserve it. Yeah. Virgo, we went through a whole lot in January and February, and there's a lot of that Saturn energy, which apparently we still have. F uh, full moon, harvest the fruits. If you have been manifesting something, it is going to come. No sleep on it. Yeah. Take time to rest. Definitely take time to rest. Signs are all around you if you're looking for it. Yeah. This is definitely that resting. Go forward, but rest. I mean, it's kind of, it's it's that foot on the brake, foot on the gas, foot on the brake, foot on the gas. It's kind of annoying, but it's really what we need to do right now, or at least in April, to make things, you know, go in our favor. I'm going to go over some real quick stuff. Please don't forget to sign up. Click the like, all that stuff, because then you get this free every single month. Also, don't forget to go onto the social media because that will have all the different sales. This week is money sales, so all money products, all money spells, all things like that are going to be on sale. Now, these this is the super, 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 I'm giving you a sneak peek as to what is going up on the website. These things, I got Pandora stuff that is going, that keeps falling off. That just goes right up there. I got Pandora stuff that's going up. I just have all this jewelry in my store. I am moving shortly, so I'll be having, uh, I'm moving the store, I should say. Uh, and all this stuff, I don't want to move it. I really don't. So uh, there you go. This ring is absolutely gorgeous. I've had this forever, and it is stamped with something. I don't know what it is stamped with. I don't know if it's silver. I don't know anything about it, but I got it a long time ago. It's a big ring. I like my big rings. You know that. <clears throat> It's a beautiful pendant that I have. It's like a brass pendant. Oh, these are not real gemstones, so don't, don't quote me on that. Again, these things will be up on the website later. Now, this is the really cool stuff. These are vintage badass. These are great if you want to give these to somebody. Plus, they're beautiful. They come with these vintage necklace prayer necklaces. You get your prayer card and you get your prayer necklace. I mean, the, the work on this is super gorgeous. These are old, old. I don't know how old, but old. I don't know. Niagara Falls, Ontario, made in England. So these I got a long, long, long time ago. These are the only ones I had left. They sold like hotcakes when I had them before. These will be up on the website, vintage badassery for sure. So check those out. I will talk to you guys soon. I love you so much. Please don't forget, I am available for readings. I'm available for spell work. I'm available for all that good stuff. So I'll talk to you soon.